Welcome to Automated GIS Workflows with Pi QGIS by Joel Lawhead, a course by Pact Publishing. I'm Mark Thomas and I'll be the presenter for this course. Joel Lawhead is a PMI Certified Project Management Professional, PMP, a Certified Geographic Information Systems Professional, and the Chief Information Officer, CIO for Envision Solutions, an award-winning firm specialising in geospatial technology integration and harsh environment engineering. Joel builds geospatial systems for US government agencies, including NASA, NOAA, the US Department of Homeland Security, and the military. He also works with private organizations, including the National Oceans and Applications Research Center, NOARC, and the Ocean Cleanup. He's authored other books with Pact Publishing, including Learning Geospatial Analysis with Python, QGIS Python Programming Cookbook, and Learning Geospatial Analysis with Python, second edition. His cookbook recipes have been featured in two editions of the O'Reilly Python Cookbook. Joel began using Python in 1997 and combined it with geospatial software development in 2000. He's also the developer of the widely used open source Python shapefile library, PySHP, and maintains the geospatial technical blog and Twitter feed, at Spatial Python, discussing the use of Python within the geospatial industry. In 2011, Joel reverse engineered and published the undocumented shapefile spatial indexing format and assisted fellow geospatial Python developer Mark Fister in reversing the compression algorithm, allowing developers around the world to create better integrated and more robust geospatial applications involving shapefiles. In 2002, Joel received the International ESRI Special Achievement in GIS Award for his work on the real time emergency action coordination tool, React, for emergency management using geospatial analysis. The open source geographic information system, QGIS at version 2, now rivals even the most expensive commercial GIS software in both functionality and usability. It's also a showcase of the best geospatial open source technology available. It's not just a project in itself, but the marriage of dozens of open source projects in a single, clean interface. Geospatial technology is not just the application of technology to geography. It's a symphony of geography, mathematics, computer science, statistics, physics and other fields. But this course is about another feature of QGIS that makes it the best choice for geospatial work. QGIS has one of the most deeply integrated and well-designed Python interfaces of any software, period. In the latest version, there is virtually no aspect of the program that is off-limits to Python, making it the largest geospatial Python library available. Almost without exception, the Python API, called PyQGIS, is consistent and predictable. The first section teaches you the basics for controlling the QGIS as a whole, in the next section, we'll be controlling maps and accessing external web services. The third section shows you how to create printed maps using the QGIS Map Composer. You'll learn to place reference elements on a map as well as design elements such as logos. The next section teaches you to control QGIS GUI elements, created by the underlying QT framework, to create interactive input widgets for scripts, plugins or standalone applications. Section 5 contains more advanced videos that result in a finished product or an extended capability. These videos target actual tasks that geospatial analysts or programmers encounter on the job. The final section contains interesting recipes that fall outside the scope of previous chapters. Most of these recipes demonstrate multiple concepts within a single recipe that you may find useful for a variety of tasks. This course follows a recipe-based problem-solution approach to address and dispel challenges faced when implementing and using QGIS on a regular basis. This course covers a lot of ground and pulls together fragmented ideas and documentation scattered throughout the internet, as well as the results of many hours experimenting at the edges of the Pi QGIS API. Even if you can't find the exact solution you're looking for, you should be able to get very close. You'll need this software to complete all the videos in this course. If a specific version is not available, use the most recent version, QGIS 2.18.4, Python 2.7.6, Google Earth 7.1.7.2602 or higher. So, let's start on this fun ride together, and I hope you enjoy it.